Otto Warmbier, jailed in North Korea last year, was evacuated with a medical team today. As we mentioned, he will be coming home, but in a coma. The Warmbier family says he has been in that state since March of 2016. They were informed about his condition just one week ago. They say in part, quote, we want the world to know how we and our son have been brutalized and terrorized by the pariah regime in North Korea. The Warm Beers spoke with CNN on camera just last month. With tensions as high as they are, uh, we felt that we needed to talk about Otto and, and put a face on, on the person who is being held there for 16 months. Nine on your sides, TJ Parker is live in Wyoming tonight with new information about the process of getting warm beer home and reaction from his community. TJ. Well, Kristen, the street leading up to where the warm beers live is blocked by police. It's been blocked by Wyoming police for most of the day. Warm beer is on his way back from North Korea and is expected to be back here in Cincinnati sometime tonight. A homecoming tonight that wasn't expected for another 14 years for Otto Warmbier. The Wyoming native is on his way back to Cincinnati after he was sentenced to 15 years hard labor in North Korea last year. And we were very worried. Bo Brewer was two grades below Warmbier at Wyoming High School. Ever since Warmbier was sentenced, he says the community wondered if he'd ever make it back home. It was a rough time and we were all hoping for the best and now that he's coming back, we're Again, just very, very happy. Warmbier is flying back to the U.S. from an air base in Japan. The answer we are waiting to hear is just how serious Warmbier's condition is. His parents have told multiple news outlets that Otto is in a coma. He's accompanied by a medical team and a State Department representative. Warmbier was arrested after being accused of stealing a propaganda sign at a hotel in the country's capital, Pyongyang. Kids will be kids, and that's a little excessive. Thankfully, he's released, and I'm very grateful, as we all are here, for that. Joan Kent owns Kent Gallery. She heard the good news from a friend walking by her store this morning. It was very exciting, yeah. And uh, all day, people have been walking by with smiles on their faces, which is unusual. All the kids are waving. They're all very happy, and I think it's from that. Warmbier is a student at the University of Virginia. He graduated from Wyoming High School in 2013, and now the entire community is grateful he'll be taken care of at home. And I understand that you know, his mom hasn't smiled since that day, but I bet you she's smiling today. Now, Nine on Your Side has just learned that Warren Beer will land at Lunkin sometime tonight. Of course, we'll have a crew there covering that. We're live tonight in Wyoming. I'm TJ Parker, Nine on Your Side. All right, TJ, thank you. And these developments come the same day that former NBA player Dennis Rodman landed in North Korea. Rodman says the issue of American detainees is not his purpose right now. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says Warren Beer's release was under the direction of President Trump. Our state leaders are reacting to Warmbier's release. Governor John Kasich says he's praying for his safety and well-being. Senator Rob Portman called Otto's detainment and sentence unnecessary and appalling. He says North Korea should be condemned. Senator Sherrod Brown echoed those sentiments, calling North Korea's actions despicable. What do you think about Otto Warmbier's release from North Korea? Call our Feedback Friday hotline 513-852-4998.